top of the morning to you. I'm Shano, your Irish-ish local for the top 10 locals list. This week I'm keeping things moving by heading back to the motherland on my father's side, Northern Ireland. And the guy that's showing me around this time is local inventor and surf instructor, Ricky Martin. Not that Ricky Martin, the Irish one. Let's give it a go then. So you gotta start in Belfast. Of course. Now, let me see if I get this right. Northern Ireland is its own country, pledges allegiance to the UK, and the Republic of Ireland does not. Yep. Okay. And where are we right now? Right now, we're at the Titanic docks where Titanic was built and launched. So this is where it set sail? Right here, where we're standing. Really? Yeah. This is where we set sail for yeah. our adventure. Hopefully it doesn't end the same way. Fingers crossed, but <laughs> I, I think we should get into the harbor right now. Just get it out of the way. Yeah, let's do it. This is the back of the ship. No, oh, I'm, well, I'm the Duke of Earl. <laughs> so you guys obviously drive on the left side of the road, and I'm left-handed, so it's not really a big deal. But what's more intimidating to me is the fact that, man, you guys gotta squeeze in sometimes. It's like one lane. Whoa! Good Lord, how do you fit in here? Tight squeeze. The only thing that you need to be worried about around here are American tourists behind the wheel <laughs> and not knocking these guys over while you're driving around. So this is the rope bridge. I've heard of this. This is Carricka Reed Rope Bridge. Yeah. Fishermen set it up back in the day so that they could access the island and, and get to their fishing boats. And now they just let the tourists access it. Yeah, so like now it can be a bit of a tourist trap. It's not too bad today, but that line can go all the way up to the top of the island. Whereas down here, you don't get any tourists at all. Pretty empty. <laughs> yeah. You know, Ricky, sometimes stereotypes are a real time saver. So since I'm half Irish, I feel like it's okay for me to address the drinking issue here. We love a drink. It's not a secret. But we love a quality drink. Um, Fair enough. Our craft beer industry is just off the scale at the moment. And I'm actually partial to the old dark beers. But you see, if you like old stuff, what we need to do is go to the old Bushmills distillery and get some whiskey. Sweet. Oh, Ricky. How's it going, man? I'm great, nice yourself? To see you. Likewise. Good, yeah. to see you. Good to meet you, Shane. Good to meet you. You've come to the world's oldest licensed distillery. We've got over 400 years of experience here. From the barrel, we've got a very special one. It's one of our single malts. Ten year old, drop it in. Ah! Just launch it to that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be a sipper? <laughs> <laughs> The Northern Irish are also pretty competitive and really into their sport, especially rugby, football. We have the world's number one golfer. Well, I am not a golfer. Okay. So what do you got? Uh, we're also really competitive in our bog snorkeling. You have to find a bog, get in it, snorkel as fast as you can. Okay, on your mark. And the quickest person is the winner. Get set. I've got my watch ready. Go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> keep kicking, keep kicking. Yeah, well done, man. 16 seconds, man. That's really good. There's no way I can beat that time. Let's just call it a day. Oh. I have got to be honest with you, man. I don't even know if this is a proper bog. It's freaking cold <laughs> enough. This is Chalk and Kjol, and it's our B&B. And Chalk and Kjol is the Irish Gaelic expression for the house of music. Are we going to play something? OK, we'll grab up that guitar there. Bed and breakfast are a pretty big thing. Very popular all over Ireland. We're just a nation of dancers and musicians and occasional Guinness sippers. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Ricky Martin. <laughs> food in Northern Ireland. So let's start the day. So breakfast in Northern Ireland is all about the Ulster fry. Soda bread, potato bread, and obviously some nice local sausages, bacon and eggs. For lunch? Fish and chips. Dinner? Uh, well, as long as it's fried, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look fried to me, Ricky. In all seriousness, our cuisine has gone from being greasy fried food to world-class cuisine in the last 10 years, and this is just a perfect example of it. As you may have noticed, we have got a stunning coastline around here. Absolutely. And basically, the locals were fed up of looking at it from the land, so we started doing coast here. You basically stick on a wetsuit, life jacket, helmet, and get into the sea and see it from that angle, and it's awesome. Interacting with the coast. Exactly, man. Much better than just looking at it. Absolutely. Safety first, or at least in the top five. <laughs> So a lot of Game of Thrones is filmed here. Well, it's filmed right here, so this is Dundas Castle, one of the sets. Everywhere in Northern Ireland is just steeped in history, legend and folklore, and uh, this, is, this is just one small part of it. So this is Giant's Causeway. That's right. From what I've researched, it's basalt formations formed from heating and cooling of volcanic activity over 60 million years. Uh, who told you that crap? A giant called Finn McCool built this causeway so he could get to Scotland and pick a Scottish giant's ass. That is totally believable. We just have the most fabulous castles, landscapes, monuments. You know, the only way that you can really explain those is by having incredible myths and legends and folklore about it. And we leprechauns. And we leprechauns that are real, by the way. Of course they are. Number one, man. Northern Ireland, ultimately, is just about having a bit of crack. Some good crack. Exactly. Crack is good times, Fun, right? yeah, having a laugh. Uh, Northern Ireland is nothing but crack to me. Good. I would smoke it all day. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 locals list for Northern Ireland. See you next time in a tourist town or a tourist country near you. Ricky Martin. Is that how you say it here? Ricky Martin.